Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to explain how to use the envelope and LFOs to modulate destination inside your Animog Z and for applying modulation changes to your preset. Before I start I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. So I'm running Animog Z inside my iPad, the first thing I want to do is just ensure that I have my default preset set. So we have the same preset that we are working from. So I click on here, I move to another preset and then go back to the default. Or you could have done that clicking up and down the arrow like so. Next, I'm going to double click on each of the control under whole bit so that I don't have any changes applied to any of the orbits in any of the axes. You can see there is an M here on right, which stands for modulation. So modulation is applied there. Click on it, and it will move you to the more. It will move you to the modulation page, where you can see you have a ten modulation. Go right to the bottom where it says clear modulation. Click to that button, and it will clear that modulation applied to the orbits rate. So indeed, if you click on the orbits page, you can see the M has disappeared. Now let's go back to the envelope and. Uh, LFO page, or should I say, let's go to the envelope and LFO page. So on the left hand side, you see envelopes, and on the right hand side, you see LFOs. You can see you have three envelopes that can be applied to the amplitude, to the filter, or to modulation, and then you have LFO 1, 2, 3. So let's start with um, why not? Let's pick up the filter. As you can see, the controls are the same. And when you apply, when you learn the controls on one on the envelopes, you can apply them to the, the other um, um, envelopes as well, similar to the LFO on the right hand side. So here you have your graph showing the envelope for the filter. You can click on the dot to move them, right and right, left and right. You can see the changes being applied to the dials as well. Or you can use the dial and moving up and down, for example, for your attack, your decay, your sustain, like so, and release. I'm not going to explain what a DSR is. I explained it in many tutorials, so hopefully you know that. Now you might just think, oh, okay, that's great, but there is only four controls for that envelope. Well, okay, click on the triangle here. You will maximize that view, and you have some additional controls on the right-hand side. So you can still go and move up and down, you know, the points and even the curvature, like these, right? And you can see the changes up here. And then right here, you still have your attack, your decay, sustain, and release. But for your attack, now you can change the curvature. You have a dial for that, similar for the decay, okay? And for the release as well. Additionally, you have a delay. So, I'll, so delay before the envelope will be applied. So let's try that. And actually, before I do that, I go to the effect and ensure that the filter is zone and I lower the frequency to a minimum. So back to the envelope and LFO page. So let's click on a key. Okay, perfect. So let's introduce a delay. Okay, let's increase that. Let's increase it a little bit more. You can see there is a delay. Let's make sure. Let's ensure that uh, we have the envelope here set to maximum on filter. Let's try again. You can hear definitely a delay now, and even more delay. And as you can see, the envelope uh, uh, graph is moving to the right. Now let's set this down to zero. We have also an additional parameter called hold. Look what happens to the graph. You are introducing almost like another sustain. Right over there. And that acts before the decay, of course, uh, kicks in. Now let's set the sustain down to zero. And you hear better that there is a hold there. Okay, and now the decay is gone down. So let's decrease the attack, like so. Now, an interesting uh, parameter is also the loop. Click on loop, you see a new symbol here for looping, and what this will do is will apply repeatedly that envelope, okay, to the filter. It's almost like having an LFO, 
okay, applied to the filter, really nice. So let's click on the loop again, let's click on the triangle to exit that view. So you can apply that to your modulation envelope and to also your amplitude envelope, and you can still maximize and minimize, of course, the view of each of the envelopes. Now let's move to the LFO. So as you can see, you have a different representation here, um, three different graphs, okay, for each of the LFO. You can change the shape here with the shape dial. It can go from sine to so tooth, inverted so tooth, square, and also sample and hold, which is really nice. You also have a one-off for keyboard triggering. So if you want the LFO to, to be the trigger every time you click a key or you press a key on the keyboard, you have your sync, and which allows you to have your rates set by intervals against your BPM, bits per minute, which is set here. So you can see the rates here, or the, um, the ratio there, one eighth note, three sixteenth, etc., etc. Or if the sync is not active, you can go by percentages, okay? Okay, let's maximize this view. You have additional controls here. You have a delay. You can see you are adding a delay here before the LFO starts. You have a phase dial. You can change the phasing of um, <clears throat> the waveform. And then you have a repeats dial. Now, when the repeats dial is down to zero, it is off. So the LFO will go on indefinitely. If you set it to something different, like in this case, twice, it will only act twice and then it will stop working on the destination. Now, let's hear how that works because you need to set the destination in order to have an LFO working because the LFO is just the source. So let's set the repeats down to zero. Let's go to the modulation page. As I mentioned earlier, you have um, 10 modulation here. They are all enabled at the moment. You can also solo them like so. You set the source here. In this case, let's uh, choose LFO1, but you can choose others, including envelopes or the position of the orbits uh, per different coordinates. And one interesting option, you can have also a random value based on the key that you press on the keyboard, which is really nice. But let's stick to LFO1. Here you set the amount, okay? Which can also be negative as well. Okay, so you need to remember in terms of position where the destination is. So in this case, the filter, because we are going to use the filter again. You have a control here and the corresponding amount. And this is used for scaling and limiting the source influence to the destination. It's almost like a volume up and down or a minimum or maximum volume, okay? So let's set these, for example, to the modulation wheel and let's set this to maximum again on a positive sign. But you can reverse the polarity if you like so. You choose the destination, for example, filter, and then you choose a parameter. So let's stick to frequency. Now, if I click on the on a key on the keyboard, you don't hear really that LFO. And the reason is because the control on modulation wheel has maximum influence. And at the moment, the modulation wheel is set to zero. So let's set this to maximum. Now I have the LFO working. And indeed, if I go back to the LFO page, I can change the rate. And let me show you how it works with repeat now. I'll have free repeat. So <clears throat> three times it has applied the LFO and then it stopped. Okay, really nice. Of course, if you don't want to apply your control, just set it off. Or you can also have the source set to off and use the control instead. So why not? Let's again use the modulation wheel. So let's try. As you can hear, I'm applying the modulation, changing up and down the modulation wheel. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. One thing to remember in this view is that some of the destination have a global effect or influence to the apply to all the notes. Like for example, if you select thick and then you go to uh, drive, <clears throat> then you have an additional parameter which is which gives you the possibility to choose which note will have, will act as an influence on the destination. It can be the oldest one in terms of being played, the newest, or the highest and lowest in terms of source and control 
parameters okay to the destination so just remember that as well so hopefully this is um, uh, straightforward and uh, i hope you enjoyed the video and as always see you next time thank you bye